Digital media and new technologies have revolutionized my classroom. My language arts students blog literary analysis, leading to thoughtful online conversations about literature. They post their creative writing online, seeking feedback from their peers. They use Moodle to engage in debates about characters in literature, to brainstorm ideas for writing, and to share good books that they have read with their classmates. They design their own online portfolios where they reflect on and showcase their best work. But I have never seen students as enthusiastically engaged in their own writing as they were when I challenged them to write a novel in the month of November. National Novel Writing Month, NaNoWriMo for short, is an online community that offers support to everyday people who dream of someday writing a novel. The Young Writers Program makes this challenge available to classrooms, providing curriculum, an online community, and the promise of publication for every student who meets their individual goal by the end of the month. I started this project by showing the PBS video of Jerry Spinelli's advice to writers. He tells them to write what they care about, which I told my students to remember as they brainstormed ideas for their novels. Unlike so many classroom assignments, this project gave the students total ownership of their writing. Genre, characters, conflicts, plot, it was all up to them to decide. Not only does this project engage students in a significant writing challenge, but it teaches them valuable digital literacy and 21st century skills as well. My students wrote their novels on Google Documents, which taught them how to use email for academic purposes, improved their word processing skills, and provided a simple and engaging way for them to collaborate with their peers via an online doc. They created profile pages and connected with writing buddies on the Young Writers website, which gave me the chance to teach them critical social network skills, including how to be safe and appropriate online. They became part of a worldwide network of other writers, including published authors whose books they had read. And as a result of this innovative and compelling project, I saw students write with enthusiasm for an hour at a time every day in class. They wrote at home, they wrote in the library at lunch, and they came into my class each day begging for more time to write. And at the end of the month, 87 of my 91 students had successfully met their word goals. Some students chose to publish their novels, which they could then sell on Amazon. And in the spring, our local bookstore hosted these young writers at an author event. They proudly introduced their stories to the audience and read an excerpt aloud. They were authors, not just middle school students, and they knew it. They and their writing had been transformed.